What is up guys? Welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to make a knife without heat treatment. And after this video, you will know how to make it. it is even possible to make a knife without heat treatment? The answer is simple. You must have something which is big enough to fit your design and it is already heat treated. So, every kind of blades from big machines. This is a blade from a big machine which cut paper. So it is absolutely perfect to this kind of design. So, let's talk a little bit about making knife from hardened steel. It is a little bit different process than uh, typical stock removal because you can't overheat the blade. I'm not talking about um, overheat the handle, I'm not talking about overheat the spine, I'm talking only about the place where you at the end will create the edge. So when you create a, a roughly shaped blade from bigger piece of steel using angle grinder increase the distance between the final shape of the blade and your cutting line a little bit more than usual why because the belt grinder gives you more control on the temperature of the blade so when you grind the final shape of the blade use the most coarse belt for example 36 grit and quench the blade into the water every time it's getting hotter and hotter. It is less possible that you overheat the blade. It is super important. It is the most important part in this kind of projects. Now, because I want to create a um, handle with two pins and it is also full tank blade, so the pins are necessary, I'm going to anneal the handle area and I'm going to use a bucket full of water to make the blade cool and using a small torch I will try to heat up only these parts of the handle where the holes will be. I've annealed the handle, drilled two holes and create a bevel using 36 grit. Now I'm going to change belts for 240 and 400, but also I'm going to reduce speed each time to 50% the previous speed. Question is why? Let's talk about the physics and I know that this is not a science channel, but this is, you know, knowledge is always welcome. So. As an example, we are going to use 40 grit and 80 grit belt. In microscopic level, number of, of points in 40 grit and 80 grit is doubled. So we have 7 points on 40 grit and 14 points on 80 grit. However, there is no physical representation of point. In real life, points does not exist. It is only in mathematics. So those points are actually small small surfaces. And if we summarize it, 
those two belts will be in a really special relation. So those points will be, let's say, A, and those will be 2A. And because the heat is generated by the friction, it is good to know what this friction cost by. In general, heat is the energy. Energy, on the other hand, it is the work in time. However, if we understand that the work is the friction and it is the force, we can actually use force and this is our friction and displacement and this is actually the speed so at the end our energy is the force multiple by speed force is related to the surface because this is a static force and the movement is generate the second parameter which generates the energy so at the end if we multiple surface we should reduce the speed to 50 percent to generate the same number of the heat Okay, so the blade is ready and now the handle. I've got a friend who lives in Texas. His name is Adam and he is knife maker, blacksmith and bladesmith. And a few days ago he sent me a picture of one of his knife. And I must say, it is pretty awesome. My only suggestion was to put a red blade between those two wooden pieces to make it even more cool. So, he sent me a second picture. What can I say? So, I was so, so impressed of the beauty of this handle that I thought, come on, I must copy that because it is too awesome to not be copied. So, because I don't have those wood um, that he used, uh, it is American uh, maple burl and also iron wood, the wood which is completely unavailable in Poland. Um, I thought that I will use something similar, that is why I've got American Maple and also Sapieli. It is not the same, but it is similar. But to make it a little bit more cool, I thought that I will use red plate, but also a white plate, which is two times thinner than the red one. And I will do some, let's say, sandwich. So I will put white wood, white plate, red plate, white plate and sapieli. So, um, it will be something, um, I think, more cool looking than just three colors. Um, and that is the plan. And one thing, I've pasted a link to Adam's Instagram so you can check the knives he's making. Now, let's go to the knife. <laughs>
guys this is how you make a knife without heat treatment if you like this project give it a thumbs up if you like what i do subscribe my channel and also remember to click the ring bell button to get notification that the new video is uploaded on the left and right side you have another cool project on my channel so check it this is all have a great day and bye bye